morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this hotline number one of Munich. Trilogy ACS is the first trial to evaluate the effect of platelet inhibition in patients with acute coronary syndrome managed medically without revascularization. More than 9,000 patients were randomized to receive on top of aspirin either clopidogrel at a dose of 75 milligrams daily or prazogrel at a dose of 10 or 5 milligrams daily. The primary endpoint was a composite of cardiovascular death, MI and stroke, and the average length of follow-up was 17 months. What we found was a 2% absolute difference in favor of prazogrel, but it was not statistically significant. We find that at about a year, the curves started separating. And in the primary endpoint, beyond a year, the trial was significant. The Trilogy ACS trial comparing clopidogrel and, and prasugrel did not show a benefit uh, of prasugrel on the primary endpoint, but showed benefits on uh, secondary analysis of the primary endpoint. And most importantly, prasugrel was safe during the 30-month follow-up period. So microRNAs are small non-coding RNAs which gained very high interest because they can be nicely targeted by inhibitors so you can block them easily and thereby change a gene expression which is dysregulated after stress such as after acute myocardial infarction. Second, microRNAs can be measured in the circulating blood and might be interesting as biomarkers because they may indicate disease of the heart or of the vasculature. And at least in our hands, microRNA inhibitors, those which suppress the microRNA functions, are very well usable in mouse models. So they improve my, the recovery after acute myocardial infarction. For example, the microRNA 92A inhibitors, which we use. We've changed the document completely. We have made very strict remedial recommendations on the different levels of risk. And we have four different groups of risk, and for these groups, we have specific recommendations. The other thing is that we have strong recommendations on the behavioral aspect. And then finally, we have in our recommendations made statements on where do you provide prevention. And here we say the general practitioner is always the key person. The cardiologists out there in private practice can be of help, but what is important is that the nurse steer programs have also come to stay. There is enough scientific evidence there. And finally, we feel that this is such a big public health issue that we as cardiologists, we should speak out on the political level. We should influence public health politicians, decision makers, to see that with the change of lifestyle, we can still save thousands and thousands of lives. Researchers have long suspected that women with stable coronary artery disease have worse outcomes than men. Data presented during the first ESC 2012 clinical trial update session on the Clarify Registry have brought new knowledge to this issue. Clarify is an international prospective registry of more than 33,000 stable CAD outpatients. Gabrielle Steg presented in Munich the one-year follow-up outcome comparison between men and women. There were important differences in baseline characteristics and in risk between men and women, and fewer women underwent revascularization. Nevertheless, we found similar crude and adjusted rates of one-year mortality and cardiovascular events in men and women with stable CAD. Longer follow-up of this population, up to five years, will provide far many more events, far much power, and therefore should provide further insights into gender issues in stable CAD.